Hi there, today um, I'm going to show you a laptop which had um, Windows 10 installed on there and sorry, had Windows 7 and during the upgrade process uh, there was an error so the desktop went a bit strange and now what's happening, if you see that repairing automatic repair See it? Just hasn't been able to boot back. And what it is, there's some files on there that I need to recover. Oh, the PC did not start. Okay, advanced options. Back to previous build. There you go. If you're running, people uh, going back to previous, it might fix them. So if, there you go. It's very strange. The error was actually worse than this before. Where it wouldn't even get to this stage. So. This is actually probably a good stage. If we can go back to the previous build, <clears throat> then I can um, back the files off. So back the files up and just wipe the PC. It's probably an incompatibility with some of the stuff that were on were, that were on the actual PC.
taking a lot of time. Tempted just to kill the process. Now what I'm thinking, um, I've got a boot up CD which has um, Ubuntu on there. And what I was thinking is, boot up onto Ubuntu. We've got a external drive here. Back up the whole PC onto that and then just rebuild it. May just be quicker actually to do it that way. So let me power it off. Okay, <clears throat> put the boot up CD in, turn it on. <coughs> Here you go, Ubuntu. Try Ubuntu without any change to your computer. It's quite a good option. It'll actually boot straight off the CD. I've not tried this before. Be an interesting thing to try out, really. <coughs> so, get the cable for the USB. Let's get that plugged in. Go. Drive's powering up as well. Let's give it some time to install any drivers it needs to. <coughs> the operating system was actually in quite a mess. Didn't have the actual message. I think there was a message previously. It's not my laptop. Um, the, the laptop did initially have a message to upgrade to Windows 10 but then it would never actually do it so I managed to get hold of a copy <coughs> of Windows 10 a legitimate copy um, and I initiated an upgrade and that's when it's run into a few issues In here it's reading I guess the components of the operating system straight off the CD <coughs> I guess it will just run it in memory Getting there, I guess we've got a cursor. Yeah, applications. Okay, so we don't want to install it as there's an icon there to install. I'm gonna find some sort of Explorer, there you go, computer, and let's see what that appears with. So, we've got the 5 terabyte USB drive, which is good, we can see that. Excellent. What I'll do, I'll just create a folder in there. and just call it back up. <clears throat> then uh, Acer. 
that's the actual drive. So this view. So let me just show it in a different view perhaps. So computer and that's what you're seeing. That's the actual hard disk. I'm guessing it's a one terabyte drive. Um, and that's the actual C drive that's on there. So if I pick the whole lot, so shift and end, and just control, oh, oh actually I can just, yeah, I'm sure control C should work. Copy the, into the Seagate backup folder, click in there and just press control V. There you go. <clears throat> Preparing to copy. Quite a lot of data on there. I think it will just keep going. Get out of that mode. Open another one. See how full this is. <clears throat> yep. 413 gig. That'll just keep counting up, there you go. There probably are other ways of doing this. Um, I did try putting a Windows 7 CD afterwards and tried a custom install where all the settings and all the files remain, but it didn't allow it. It was just saying, um, the incompatible operating system already on there. So I guess the only suggestion is to wipe it. So I think what I'll do, I'll get Windows, I'll back up the files, I'll get Windows 7 on there, and from a clean system, I'll try and do an update to Windows 10. Just get to a stage where you can see it still going. God. Let me leave this running and I'll resume filming just in a bit. Okay, it's found all the files and there you go. It's gonna take five hours-ish copy the lot across and just over 400 gig so I'll just leave it running overnight and then I'll plan to install the OS I might have a quick read up if I can make a bootable version of um, Windows 10 and boot it straight into Windows 10 do a clean install let's see <laughs> 